Hey guys, it's Schnickerman here with another video. I wanted to film something quick of an unboxing of something that I think is pretty cool and Digimon related. So stay tuned for that. So I just picked this up from an eBay seller from Japan. This is the 20th anniversary box for Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth Hacker's Memory. It's got some gorgeous art on it. You can see the front and the back. And this is the PlayStation 4 version, I believe. So I'm going to sit here and unbox it for you guys. I've never really heard of this before. Only initially when it was released. Kind of forgot about it. Then much later on, I wanted to pick it up. And of course, the only place you can get it is eBay. So you get this really, really nice condition looking box. You even see Betamon and Wormmon down here on the front. Um, it has a little slip cover thing, which goes right here just to show you what it is. That comes off. Really, really amazing condition. Usually with stuff from Japan, everything is in such fantastic shape. They take care of their stuff extremely well. Okay, everything's here. Let's see. Slip out the first thing. So the first thing we have here is, well, let's see if it wants to come out. This is what I kind of wanted it for the most. I was thinking about buying this separately, and I think it was going to be about 50 bucks by itself. So this is the Digimon Story Visual Art Book. You can see that got a nice slip cover on that as well. We're going to take a closer look at this with some B-roll. I'm going to do my absolute best to show this off without shaking, but it's going to be really difficult. So here's the front of the art book. You can see all the different Digimon. And the back of the art book just says Digimon Story Visual Art Book. What's interesting is on the inside, there's actually a lot of stuff from not necessarily the games. You can see here from Data Squad, got some characters, some more Digimon there, their sprites. So this is actually from the earlier games as well, I believe, for all of Digimon's story. So some of it's for the DS games. I believe this is from the DS games. So that's Dawn, and there's Dawn and Dusk. Okay, this is really interesting. See the Dawn and Dusk original art, some characters from that. Skip a little bit ahead, see some more characters there. See some Digimon, I think those are some of the late game Digimon. More characters, the sprites. See. Now this is a focus on the um, all the character models in Digimon Story and Hacker's Memory. There's some. Oh, there he is, Jimmykin, the legend. There's some more of the main characters. There's the evil character, one of the evil characters. I forget everybody's names in this, but wow, this is really nice. There's Arata, Nokia, main character female version, and the main character male version. Look at that. And look, there's all the Royal Knights right there. Check that out. Wow, this is amazing. There's some more art from the DS games really hard to show then it kind of goes into some environmental art that they had some enemy design so that's that's pretty much it but this is really really hefty so it's celebrating the 20th anniversary there's Jimmy Ken again the legend celebrating 20 years of Digimon story and then other than that I believe the whole thing slips out and there's Two other things in here. 
the first of which is the soundtrack, which is something I was also looking for. And again, it looks like everything's flawless about this. Can't wait to add this to my video game soundtrack collection. And the last thing is the game. Here it is, PS4 version of Hacker's Memory, which I already own the normal version. Eh, might as well take a... Ooh, wait a second, wait a second. So, in the inside, you can see the little tiny manual in here, like we got with the normal version. Let's see what, what other kind of Japanese ads we have in here. You see an ad for the transforming Gautamon action figure, some other tiny mini figurines, some digivices in the back that were supposed to come out in 2018. But even more, we have another ad for, oh, I believe this is the download code for Leopardmon. And then what's really interesting is you get a members, members card for something. And, and then also this, which if anybody can read Japanese, please let me know what this is. This is some kind of Bandai Namco card. And same thing with this, I guess. If you can read this, let me know what it says. So that's kind of cool. I didn't, you know, these are just tiny little things that, of course, we didn't get in our version. But PS4 is region free. I should be able to play this just for fun. Um, yeah, definitely willing to get this. This is basically brand new, so I can't believe the price I got. I paid about a hundred US dollars for this, including the shipping. I got the art book, the soundtrack, the game, all in amazing condition as well as a nice display piece for the game collection. Look at this. I mean, I don't even know what side I want to display because this side is just as cool. So really cool. I just wanted to open that up and show you guys. I'm definitely going to be looking for the collector's edition of Digimon Survive when it comes out and if it has one. Um, the art book is super cool, following the whole history of the last 20 years of the Digimon Story games. So if you like content like that, be sure to subscribe. Um, I'll make a playlist for Digimon related things as well. And if you're into retro gaming or game collecting or building a game room or anything like that, also check out my channel. I appreciate you guys. Please leave comments. I answer every single comment. And I would love to have a conversation with you. So until next time, peace out everyone.